My name is Jody Clayman. I live in West Vancouver. I could be relaxing and having a life of leisure, but that would be boring. I simply love to work. See, that's beautiful. That's us. Much longer. I'll take that. You're four. I would say I'm a mamapreneur. I'm a great wife, a great mother. I love my friends and family. I'm ultimately a strong business person. I'll put that in the bag too and we'll organize it. I'm Mary Zilva. I'm a single mom and I live in Yale Town. I'm a former Miss Ohio and was in the Miss America pageant and my talent was singing and I was really fortunate to have won the talent award at Miss America. I lived down in LA for quite some time and fell in love with a guy from Vancouver. He was a venture capitalist and lo and behold, I ended up in Vancouver. He made us a heck of a lot of money, which meant I could actually focus on my singing. Who knew that I would become a Canadian pop star upon moving here? I've had seven top 40 hits in the country. And, you know, in the past, I thought a career can only last you so long, but a marriage will last you a lifetime. Hey, Jody. I'm really surprised to hear from Jody. I haven't talked to her in a while. I'm calling to invite you to Whistler with some girls. Really? Um, great. When? Tomorrow. You want to bring girlfriend? Maybe my girlfriend, Ronnie? Is that okay? Wonderful. Invite you whatever you would like. I look so forward to seeing you. You too, huh? So much to catch up on. Absolutely. Hey guys, be careful, okay? My name is Ronnie. I live in a gated community in West Vancouver. I love you! I'm a domestic goddess, slash professional shopper, slash mother of five, slash wife, slash jet setter. My husband started a company and has just grown from this to We live right on the water, so naturally, we have a boat and jet skis, a private tennis court, all the toys you need to live life large in Vancouver. If I just find out now that he gave the car to him for free, I think that's only fair that I get the car for free, too. If I just gave them a car, that would be too easy. I don't want my children to grow up spoiled. I mean, they may not be living in you know, a $10 million house on the ocean when they're older, unless they work hard for it. God, just like a little breakfast in the morning and the place like is gone to hell. Well, my husband is very busy, so I'm like running a household. You so pretty. And staff and five kids of all ages that are going in all directions. Where'd you say you were going though? Because I actually want to come with you guys next time. Jordy's going down to the ranch with Jerry, but honey, you can't go. You have to work have to and work. you need that math credit. This year, no south of France for you. I'm definitely not your typical mother. I have a private jet for when we just need to get away from it all. Okay, Jordan, the gypsies are rolling. Flying around on private planes and going to the south of France and sitting on yachts and stuff. Already. You know, some people are doing that, but not everybody. I have friends from all walks of life, wealthy friends and friends with not so much. I prefer to have friends to hang out with people who have a little bit less because they're not so complicated. But then, Reiko, she's my friend. Hi, Hi sweetie. Oh my god, I haven't seen you in ages. She's rich. I've known Reka for a long time. She's phenomenal. She's spiritual. She's strong. When you sent me that picture the other day, you were saying <laughs> that you're working out so hard. I was like, oh my god, where's Reka gone? You know what? I do push-ups every day. Push-ups? I push my husband off me every night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ripped. <laughs> Jody's a really good friend of mine. I've known her for 10 years. You could just feel success coming from her. Like, you can smell it. It's just in the air when you're around her. I want to run a few ideas by you. Okay. I've been writing a cookbook, and I'm going to call it Jody's. I'm constantly coming up with new ventures, and my latest one is a cookbook in my father's memory. And I thought we could all go to Whistler and have a girl's weekend. That sounds amazing. My event is like a test kitchen for the cookbook that I'm writing. I really want the girl's opinion. 
I want it to be really lavish because I really want them to see what I can do. Jody's always got creative ideas flowing, so something different. It's gonna be so much work. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna help? <laughs> oh my God, no. That ain't something I'm gonna do. Oh my God, it's everything I dreamed of. This is amazing. Isn't it amazing? It's absolutely stunning. Wow. My name is Rachel McKenzie, and I live in Shaughnessy, Vancouver. It's so unique. Today I'm going to the Ferrari dealership to pick up my new 458 Italia. I know that I ordered a lot of options. You did. It's my $10,000 personalized luggage. Um, Italian leather, you can't get any better than that. Exactly. Wow. And it's the exact same color as your interior. Is it going to fit all my shoes? <laughs> no. I grew up in a bit of a rough suburb. After I left, I never went back. To have my daughter's names slacked in there, this is really special. Does that mean you're going to give them a car when they're older? We'll see. <laughs> you're the best sales guy, Rav. <laughs> of course I love buying cars. I love the sound of a new Ferrari. It's like an aphrodisiac. Uh, the fleet of cars. There's a tomboy side of me that is totally in love with speed. So I collect exotic sports cars. My name is Christina Kiesel. I'm 29 years old and I live in Vancouver. My primary source of income is two divorces. I have worked very hard for every single penny I've earned. I was married to very irritating men. Not very long, of course, but I definitely worked hard for my money. The men I did are generally in the mining industry, which made school digging that much easier for me. Don't need to carry a shovel. How much was your power bill last month? It was $2,200. <laughs> Kevin Chase is my best friend in the whole entire world. From start to finish, we laugh and laugh and laugh. I've never loved anyone or anything as much as I love Kevin Chase. Hopefully, God willing, everything will go well. I've arranged the girls to stay at the Nita Lake Lodge with myself. We give them these great big suites. I think as with any time you get five women together, there are going to be a few things that happen. It's not going to be smooth sailing. Hello. Oh, oh my God, I'm sorry. Mary's like, don't ever come to my house. Don't come to my house. I don't think they're going to be best friends anytime soon. The air smells so fresh. I'm not used to it. You don't get out of the bedroom much, Christina? You trying to tell us something? Christina, we could write a novel. I'm a little bit edgy at this point. I don't want to talk about my love life. A 15-year-old girl dating an old man? Yeah, sure. I was shocked. This isn't Thailand. So last night was fun, but I'm curious to see if Jody keeps picking on Christina. So let's go to the gondola, okay, ladies. I definitely think that I'm the one she's going to target. I'm prepared for it. You have to have morals for yourself. Jody, I have serious. There was no mind. commitment there. Be frank with yourself. I swear I saw tears going into Mary's eyes and I felt so sad for her. She can make fun of me, but I'm really, really devastated at how she's treating Mary. I don't understand why she doesn't have more self-respect to tell men to get lost. Someone cheats on you, you leave. This isn't 1922. I don't understand why she doesn't have more self-respect to tell men to get lost. Someone cheats on you, you leave. This isn't 1922. I don't understand why she doesn't have more self-respect to tell men to get lost. Someone cheats on you, you leave. This isn't 1922. I was done with the weekend. Jody is a bully. Mary needs to stand up for herself. Let the games begin. Let's get a drink! Let's get this show on the road! Like a hooker, only smarter. Yeah, not so impressed. I was disgusted. You think that's pretty? God, you on me. You strip. It's done. It's done. What are you, stupid? The queen of me. She's aggressive and she's a bitch. Unless she apologizes, I'll never speak to her again.